a bookshelf in my room and I need one because I have books the camera right now is sitting on about eight books I have about six seven books on my bed and there's books on my side table on my dresser on the floor they're everywhere so yeah there's a pile of like 15 right there so I need uh, a shelf so I am going to take this wall down move this plant and I'm gonna um, accost the bookshelf that we have storing books in the basement take those books off bring the bookshelf up here and then put my books on it because that's not really being used we could buy a new one like later to use for storage but yeah so that is what I'm gonna be doing right now I'm very excited about it because my room is a mess and at least one third of the mess is because there's books everywhere so let's get going I'm gonna watch a documentary about the Russian Revolution and we're gonna take these pictures down and this whiteboard and see if we can find somewhere else for it and yeah so that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing let's go Now I have to deal with. Now I have to deal with that mess. So let's do that. Let's see how that works. Okay, let's go. Got it all cleaned up for the back there. The bookshelf is empty and ready to be brought upstairs. So let's go. There she is. Got some extra books I brought up. So let's do it. Okay, guys. Guys, the AC in my house isn't working. AC in my house isn't working, so I'm currently sweating like a dog, so I'm sorry I have to expose myself. Why is it so hot? All my windows are open. I have five windows, so it's like the sun beats down, it makes my room really, really hot. Even when they're up there, just, oh, it's, I'm sorry, but it's just, it's so hot in here. It's 30 degrees, and I'm dying, so that's, I just wanted to explain myself. If you're gonna be a square, you're in or gonna go away.
organize a bookshelf. I don't know. I don't know. I can't have as many books as I thought, you know? actually been a couple of weeks since I filmed the actual putting together of my bookshelf but since then um, between like filming and editing I've acquired some more books and I just changed the way the bookshelf looks I like it a lot better now so I just figured I would refilm it plus last time um, I was having trouble focusing and it was just really really long and annoying so I'm just gonna redo it now so this is what it ended up looking like um, I guess, yeah, I'll just give you an overview of the whole thing. So that's it. And then, so the bottom shelf is pretty much the same. Um, it just looks like that. It's got just my journals and some travel books and then just miscellaneous. My Yoga Frog Man and then the It's a Wonderful Life VHS. And then the next shelf up is the kind of newer fiction. Um like that and then there's just a few classics on the end that I didn't have room for on the classic shelf which is right here and um, yes I do consider the first Harry Potter a classic so there's that um, yeah so that's that shelf and then just the next shelf up is my kind of non-fiction and historical mishmash shelf um, the book of Negroes is on here because <clears throat> Sorry, even though it's technically a fictional story, since it's based on historical real events, it just kind of goes with this theme. And yeah, so there's like a book of poetry, uh, the four agreements, and then I have a little plant there. And then I have a coin that says you can and you will. Oh, I don't know why that's there, sorry. It says you can and you will, which one of my best friends Darby gave me, so shout out to her, I love it. And then this rock is just like a joke from work. <laughs> and then just hanging on the side, I have my dream catcher. Uh, time, turn on, time turner necklace from my other friend, Julia. So shout out to you too. And then my string of pearls, that's actually from my mom. And I do wear these, they're just kind of there. <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh. And then on the top shelf, I changed it, I think the most. Um, it's completely different. Um, my paintings there, my weird seashell, not real obviously, um, and candle, stack of pictures, um, my nativity scene, snow globe, that was my grandma's, and then I have just my antique books, which just I think look way better uh, than, I think they look w way better than the Percy Jackson books that I had there before. And then I have my two plants on the top. So, oh yeah, and then just the banner on the side. You can pause that. Oh, the lighting's weird now on it. Oh, I don't know. That's weird. Anyways, um, there you go. That's what it says. So, so yeah, that's basically my bookshelf. That's all it is. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to say. Um, I could just end it here and take out the awkward long intro that I actually filmed when I originally, but yeah, so basically that's it. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I kind of like this video. I like watching fast, um, like fast motion things of people moving stuff around. So I just thought it was kind of cool. And um, yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye.